Hi, I'm Groom. Welcome back to Man vs Film. This is the first Blu-ray pickup video I've done this year. I've decided to do, put them out on the last of the month and just show what I've picked up this month so far. So let's just get started straight in with uh, some of the pickups. First up is a steelbook of a movie I haven't seen before and that is The Company of the Wolves. Don't know much about it. Five bucks for a steelbooks. I'm not going to knock that back. A movie that I've wanted to see for the longest while and I just haven't got around to it for some reason is Upstream Colour. Now, I love Shane Carruth's Primer. I think it's a fantastic movie. I love it. I've heard this is really just another great movie. He's got another movie out this year, so it's time to really catch up in this before I hopefully get to see the next one. Again, one that I've been recommended but I haven't actually seen as yet is The Day the Earth Caught Fire. I don't know too much about this one either. I just know that it's a, a supposedly a very good sci-fi. It's from the BFI collection which is usually pretty decent. Okay, so Masters of Cinema next. I've got Flight of the Phoenix, a movie that I actually have seen before and I kind of like it. It's Jimmy Stewart and I've seen the remake wasn't as good. I really prefer this one. So this is one of the rare Masters of Cinema movies that I actually have seen before. Uh, also from Eureka but not in the Masters of Cinema collection is Metropolis. Now this is the Japanese anime uh, based on the German movie I believe. I don't know if I'm 100% right on that but uh, it's a very limited edition steelbook. I was quite happy to pick this one up. The, the Cabinet of Dr Caligari. This has got a feature length documentary with it. It's got a cool steelbook so I was quite happy to upgrade my current version to this one. The last pick up from Master Cinema this month was Kiyoshi Kurosawa's Creepy, a movie that I'm really interested in checking out. I've heard some mixed things but I do like uh, some of the director's other movies, I'm happy to pick this one up. Okay, I uh, also picked up American Hustle. I've not seen it since the cinema. It's been long enough, it was three pounds. It's got some great actors, great performances. I want to revisit it because I wasn't 100% the first time I saw it. For three pounds, I'm very happy to do that. Of course, with the release of John Wick 2, very soon, a couple of weeks away, I had to pick up the first one. I've seen it a few times. I like the simplicity of the plot. You killed my dog, I'm going to murder the lot of you. I hope the second one's is just as silly. A movie I was really surprised when I actually sat down to watch it, how much I liked it was Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. It's got a silly title, you're expecting silliness, and yes, you do get it, but what you do get is some good uh, zombies, you get some good fighting, you get some nice camaraderie between the three scouts, some funny scenes, and a movie that I generally really enjoyed, and I'm happy to revisit. movie that I got recently as well was The Suicide Squad. This is the extended cut which I'm interested in checking out. The Batman vs Superman extended cut was excellent. Far better than the theatrical. Again, I kind of liked this movie in the cinemas. Kind of didn't. Too, you know, not really too sure, but we'll give it another watch and see. Arrow Video Special Editions are something, well, special. They really are. And one that I was quite happy to pick up was Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, uh, starring War Notes, directed by Sam Peckinpah, a movie I haven't seen. Sam Peckinpah's movies are generally really interesting, really fun, really bloody, really kind of different for the time that they came out. So it was a no brainer. Really working hard to pick up all the Tarantino steel books that I can. Uh, next up has uh, Django Unchained. What can you say about the Tarantino movies? I'm a huge fan for a reason. These movies are just excellent, constantly rewatchable, and the, the kind of movies that get better the more you rewatch them. Uh, a very limited steelbook that sold out within about 20 minutes of it going on sale was Fright Night. I love Fright Night. It is a fantastic movie, really enjoyable, really fun. And it's got a, a good documentary with it apparently as well that I've not quite checked out yet. It's got some great extras. I'm really glad to add this to the collection. And the last one for this month, and a movie that I got to see on the big screen a couple of weeks ago, was Donnie Darko. I don't know what else to say about this that I didn't already say in my uh, review of it, which will be up here somewhere where you can click and go and check it out if you want. It's from a 4K restoration. It's got a theatrical cut, director's cut, extras, documentary, book, not a booklet, an actual book with it. It is loaded with stuff and I'm really happy to get this into my collection and to start digging through it. Whew, well, that's everything I picked up. Did you pick up any bargains this month? Is there anything out there that I could have missed? You need to let me know if you see anything because I'm wanting to give my money away to these companies to get these Blu-rays. Hit me up in the comment box below. Let me know if there's any good deals, if there's anything you picked up, if there's anything I've missed or a site I should be checking out. And I'll see you next time. I'm Man vs Film.